Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and today I'm going to be explaining the movie settings, but mainly uh, this is to show you guys how to make your own turntable videos. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to import an OBJ file from a blend file that I made, or a blender model that I made about uh, eight or nine months ago. So here it is. It's just a basic alien thing that I made. So let's go ahead and give it geometry. I'm going to give it about 3 million polygons, 2.8 million polygons. And let's go ahead and give it a different material. I don't like this red wax. Personally, I don't I don't think it's appealing. I'm going to give it the Hulk texture cuz it looks cool and I like it. So, let's just not beat around the bush or anything like that. Let's go ahead and get into it. So, you see this image here when you click movie. This is where you go for that. And um, there's record, turntable, snapshot, and time lapse. These are the main ones. Now, record, turntable, and time lapse are for movies. Snapshot is just to take a snapshot of the of this. I'll explain everything in a little more detailed in a second. So, here, let me explain this before you record anything. You should get your settings here and here. So, dock and window. Dock, that means that just this document, not the menus of the window here, just this document will be recorded if you have that selected. If you have window selected, it records the whole window. Now, if you're making an instructional video of how you made something and you want to record it with the ZBrush recording, which I suggest doing because it's really flawless, um, I suggest recording the whole window if you're showing stuff. But if not, if you're just showing something like a turntable, I suggest just the document. Now large, now large. If you have, if you select window, it will select everything as it is. This is how large the actual file will be. Uh, medium will be half of that size, and small will be a quarter. And now with the document, same thing. If you press large, this is how it'll actually be. Medium is half, and small is a quarter. Now let's go over here to the bottom here. Title image. When you record something, a title image will come up. Let me show you. Um, but let me just open all of these for the time being. So, frame size is how big the frame will be, and that changes as this. So, 50 is 50% um, small, 25 large is one. That's the whole thing. Auto zoom, I wouldn't mess around with that. But if you need to see something, Hold control will give you a little paragraph on what it does. Just hold control over that menu. Recording FPS, that's frames per second. That means it's going to record at 12 frames per second. Whatever you record will record at 12 frames per second. 12 frames per second, sorry. This only goes up to 20 frames, so you know, be mindful of that. Playback, playback frames per second, that's uh, what it gives you. That's what, how fast you see it. So if you record something at 12 frames per second and you see it at 24, it is going to be twice as fast as you originally made it so you might want to put playback uh, frames per second to 12 if you want to see how it actually was snapshot time this is snapshots that you made in uh, with a movie you can just read about that that's not really important right now skip menus it doesn't op it doesn't record any menus that you open like this it just ignores it so um, uh, anti uh, allies capture that just cleans up the whole movie you know makes it sharpens up those um, bad edges that it makes but uh, it increases the processing time so watch out for that on mouse th this means it only records when you're actually clicking so if you're like just thinking about something how you're gonna I don't know shape the jaw or something like that and you not doing anything it will only record if you if you're clicking but if you deselect this so oops sorry if you deselect it uh, everything you do will be recorded so I usually keep this on because it goes a lot faster and there's not a lot of the the sp the breathing between talking if you know what I'm saying cursor size is just the size of the cursor um, in the movie how large you want it to show up spin frames and spin cycles and all of this is specifically for turntables now spin frames this is how many frames per cycle. That means it will only take th well 36 frames per cycle. You should know what that means if you're in animation. Spin cycles, that's how many times it's going to spin. That's as easy as it gets. But uh, let me just show you. Uh, let me press turntable. Now, it's going to automatically create a turntable. Just a spinning 
rotation of your mesh. Now, that was 36 frames of one thing, of one rotation, and it only did one spin cycle. So if I play that movie here, you'll see it comes up here. I put large on so it looked better, and it's really fast and blocky and stuff like that. Now you see that um, that ZBrush fade in and fade out thing. You can change how long the fade in and fade out time is here and you can choose if you want text. Now text 1, text 2, text 3 if you put text 1 in, put something in there. I'm not going to put anything in right now. Text 1, this will be the first line, this will be the line underneath it, and this will be the line underneath line 2. That's all it is. So here, this is just the position, the le this is left and right, this is top and down, the opacity of it. But um, yeah, I'm just going to turn the fade time down. I'm going to turn, I usually turn spin frames to 360 and turn spin cycles to 2. But I'm just going to put it on 120 for now, just for time sakes. So um, I'm going to pause the video really quick while I press turntable. Okay, so yeah. Sorry, I forgot one thing. You should press Alt and move, or just basically scale your mesh up to right about there, right about where the frame hits, so that you can actually see some detail on your mesh, and you should have it facing forward. So, and you just go to Movie Turntable. So, if you have a movie already there, and you should delete it because if I would record a just a normal thing and a time lapse and a turntable, unless I delete it. They're all going to be recorded within each other as one movie. So if you want separate movies, make sure you delete them. So let me pause this really quick, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and, and uh, made the turntable. I only put one spin cycle for the sake of time. So just go ahead and press play movie. And uh, it shows you your movie now. It's freezing up here because, oops, because I'm recording. But uh, yeah, you just play it. So now, uh, I'm going to show you what record and time lapse do. But first, I'm going to show you how to export these movies since I already have one recorded here. So I'm going to export it to my desktop as ZBrush Movie. That's fine. You can only have MOVs. So press save. And um, wait a second. And this compression settings come up. Don't have H264 uh, because it's not very good. And it has this weird, um, it turns it light. I usually do photo JPEG since that looks really good but if you just want a, a nice thing for streaming on the internet you go ahead and put in your frames per second um, 24 is fine really if you want M mp4 um, settings turn limit date uh, data rate uh, to off and turn keyframe every one frames so that it's not glitchy and you want to turn high, the quality to best now but what I do and um, the files are about 300 megabytes each but I don't really have to worry about it because I have pretty fast internet and I have um, like 600 um, gigabytes of free space so I'm good with uh, space but um, yeah this is what I usually do I go to photo JPEG depth best depth and um, turn best and then you just press OK and then it renders out so yeah that's how you do that and then it it exports like that now you don't want to save it because it saves as a ZBrush movie and you can't put that anywhere else but ZBrush now time lapse all that does is it makes a really fast video of you doing stuff so there we go pause it play the movie oops see that's what I mean you have to delete uh, stuff or else it gets added onto the movie you already had so time lapse do some stuff let me check how far we are on time getting close there so just do some stuff um, okay so pause it play the movie so see it just did a really fast video of me doing stuff Okay, so um, if you record and you want to actually show stuff, turn on mouse off so that it can show what actually you're recording. Otherwise, it's just like a time lapse. So just record and open up some. Oh, wait, actually, because doc is on, it's not going to show any of the windows. So let me just move stuff. Let me just add some stuff with a standard brush here. Add some muscles. Well, very poorly. <laughs> nah, anyway, but um, pause it. Let me play it really quick, and I see it shows everything I've done here. Double the speed that I actually did it because it was recording at um 20 at 12 frames, and it played back at 24. So that's it. I showed you how to make your own turntable video, and uh, if you have any cool turntables, uh, please um 
uh, personal message me or something like that and send me the video so I can see it and I'll be sure to comment it for you. And uh, so that's it and be sure to watch the future ZBrush tutorials. Thanks guys. Bye.